conversador se está bem. David, I see on your menu you've got something called the Colorado Chili Pie. I do. All right. You know, I'm trying to be um, uh, rustic and, and uh, more true to the Italian culture or, or tradition of pizza, but, you know, part of that is being local. And, of course, right. you know, this, during this time of year, what, what's local in Colorado is uh, our roasted ch green chilies. Uh, so it's going to be a white pie, similar to what we made oh, the, okay. the uh, fungi. And this one's going to have uh, pancetta. Pancetta, okay. On it as well. So it's a, a peppers and pancetta. For people who, who don't know the difference between pancetta and bacon would be? It's the same cut, bacon smoked, pancetta is cured. But if somebody were making this at home or something similar, they could use bacon. They could also, use bacon, right? yeah. yeah. It'll okay. just give out that smoky flavor, okay. which isn't bad. Not so bad, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's bacon. I, I think that you win either way, yeah. Stretches out nicely. You know, and being on the street, you gotta give a little bit of a show. Yeah, that's people, you know, like yeah. they, they, they like to see that there's tossing going on with their pizza. It's so. And with high protein you know, flour, like, you can do more tossing you can do than that. you can with the, the low protein. Flour, nice yeah. set of structures there, yeah. so you can definitely do it that way. Um, so there we are, okay. about a ten-inch pie. Uh, I will set the bottom first with uh, with my goat cheese. Also, a little more. Go you use goat cheese on this one as well as on your mushroom pizza. Yeah, it's on the mushroom pie. Uh, just the bottom with the uh, garlic infused olive oil. Some of that. And a, a little bit goes a long way. That that all, the garlic olive oil will actually spread on that pizza. Yeah. Uh, when you're using pancetta, the fat, you know, as opposed to bacon. Yeah. The uh, you, you're probably going to pre-cook the bacon before you put it on the pizza, and that'll render the fat down. The fat in the in the pancetta is still in there, so it'll render down in the oven. And then uh, we're gonna go in with some fresh roasted. Here are the peppers, and again, lightly pre-cooked a little bit, so they're soft. So they are roasted uh, in a in a typical uh, tumbler roaster. Oh, okay. You do like a fire roasting on those, okay. right? Right. And then we'll finish off with a little fresh pot. So in a way, it's kind of like your mushroom pizza, your your fun guy, except that it's. The star of this one is the pepper instead of the mushroom. We've got a road out here, it's called Federal Boulevard, and it's uh -huh. uh, it's full of taquerias and uh, Mexican restaurants, and that's where you find the uh, local uh, pepper merchants. I see. The Colorado's not that far from New Mexico. Is it, is it pretty much any peppers you get from New Mexico? One New Mexico, uh, Colorado? southern Colorado, in Pueblo. There's a lot of, uh, there's a heavy concentration of Italians in, in Pueblo. That's where you get a lot of the great produce, the, the peppers um, that we're talking about here, a lot of eggplant. From in that region as well. Like in, when you were in Italy, was there sort of like one or two takeaways that were that have, have infused your ethic of how to cook? Other than cooking with you know regionally um, and local foods, it's uh, slow cooking is something I've really uh, taken away as well. And uh, and you know being fresh, I have a huge garden at home. I love it. Um, all the, uh, anything tomato. Uh, uh, it's something I've, you know, I, I, do, I just can't get enough of. Right. It's just, it's a seasonal thing, and I love the the idea that Colorado is so seasonal. And they, this is it. It's ready to go now. You don't garnish it with anything else. I, I don't garnish with anything else. This is it. This is okay. uh, this is the pie. Um, a nice, a nice spice to it from the, the from the peppers. Um, I like the fact that now the pancetta is crisped up a little bit on there. See that crisp? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it's rendered down a little bit. That fat has uh, has actually gone into the pizza. And again, those red, those uh, roasted green peppers with a little bit of that char from both the fire roasting previously plus what they picked up here in the oven. Mm. Got something there? No, I love it. <laughs> I love it. And it's, it's a little heat, but not too much heat. Today, cooking with you, we've not just been standing here in Denver, but we've been kind of on the road. Now we're in we're in uh, southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. Mm -hmm. We've we've been to Italy, and you're kind of bringing all of these uh, culinary adventures to your oven kind here. Kind of full circle around to uh, to this space and bring it, space. yeah, and then bringing it to. That's your what I try customers. to tell people. You know, they like to come to uh, Brava to get away and and uh, and to uh, get away from the office. Ainda tá tratando moda ninguém. Seis conversadores, seis também.